Hi. Now we're going to be talking about how to do a little bit of energy work. Energy work is this place inside of us where our energy exists. If you think about our body and you think about a magnet, that's what we are. We are made up of all these electrical flows. If we were to put an EKG monitor over your heart, we would be able to see how your heart beats. If we put a monitor over your head, we would be able to see what kind of energy is flowing through your brain. So we have all this energy connected in our body, but in, in regular Western medicine, we don't ever talk about energy. We talk about medications. So today I, I really wanna focus on how do we heal ourselves or keep ourselves from ever getting sick? We are able to heal our body. Unfortunately, we just don't know how. So today we're gonna to be talking about the three thump process. There's three areas that we are going to be doing um, some tapping over, and that tapping is what helps stimulate our energy centers. So if you think about it, it's kind of like how the heart it provides blood and the blood goes to all parts of the body and then it comes back to the heart and it gets cleaned through the lungs and does, does this repetitive motion of fluid. We also have a repetitive motion of energy. Today we're going to be talking about the K27, the thymus, and the spleen. So when we're thinking about the K27, it is located under our collarbone, barely you go to the middle of the chest under the collarbone T field, kind of that notch there. This is the first spot that we're going to be doing today. This collarbone spot is a reflection of the last meridian of our kidneys. And the energy flows from the balls of our left foot up to the navel, then over to our, our right K27 spot to the left K27, back through our navel and out down through the right ball of our foot. And so the energy makes a, a, a number eight. So the energy is flowing, very similar to how the heart beats and pushes fluid all through the body. Yeah. So the three spots that we're picking, the first one is this K27. K27 is a place that um, like if you have a lot of infections or autoimmune disease or you just feel like you get sick a lot this may be an area that you want to, to rub on you're going to want to rub on that area for 15 seconds so i'm going to put my timer on and we'll just see how long 15 seconds is okay so start going right here at k27 and as you're doing that when you just breathe in through your nose and relax, let it go. And breathe in through your nose. And relax and let it go. Okay, so that's just over 15 seconds actually. So it's about three breaths if you're not doing all the talking like I am. So that's the first spot. The second spot is this area in our sternum here called the thymus. This thymus is our happy spot. So like we really want to focus on our happy spot. This is a place that if I'm at the grocery store and I'm like waiting behind somebody that's taking a super long time, this is the spot that I might sometimes just like take a rub or I might tap there like, oh, so I'm, I'm not getting like fully energized and aggravated. This is um, one of the energy paths that we're trying to clear to and the thymus is called our life energy. So if we want to have more energy in life, this is a great place to be going. And as you rub on this area, we're going to do this 15 seconds also. I want you just to say my life energy is high. I am full of love. And breathe. My life energy is high. I am full of love. And again, that's your 15 seconds. So it doesn't take very long, does it? The next spot is our spleen area. And you'll find that kind of right under the breast and on the rib cages right here. This area is a great place for reducing stress and again, reducing infections. Um, it also helps modulate our hormones and reduces toxins. So we're gonna do that for 15 seconds as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And as we do this, we're just gonna breathe through Keep tapping. Okay, that's 15 seconds. So you notice like we, we did a little bit of rubbing up here. You can rub the areas 
or you can tap the areas. You can rub the areas or you can tap the areas. I mean, I think if you're out in public and you're feeling a little weird, um, you might just want to, you know, be rubbing. I don't really feel bad about tapping here. Um, but to other people that might make them think, oh, she's being so impatient. So maybe rubbing that area. And besides, that's really close to your heart too. And so people might just be thinking, oh, she's rubbing her heart. Isn't that cute? Another thing that you can do with your tapping is you can do an opposite where you take the right hand and you tap over the left K27. And when you do that, you're going to put your hand over your belly button with your other hand and you're just going to rub. And so let's do that for 15 seconds also. Don't forget to breathe. Hmm, that feels so good. Okay, go ahead and stop. Switch arms left to the under the right and then put your left hand over your belly button. And again, we're gonna just rub for 15 seconds. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's it. So a couple places, if you really wanna learn a lot more, you can actually take classes with um, Donna Eden. She has an online course of, called Energy Work, and then there are online courses for EFT. If you're just looking for a tool to kind of help you relax and help re-energize your body, these three points are really all you need. Also in an, another video, talk about EFT, which is emotional freedom tapping, which actually taps other other meridian um, acupuncture points. But for ease, this is pretty simple. And this is something that you could pretty much do anywhere, anytime, and really help yourself like clear out your immune system, add in a little bit of happiness and balance out your hormones. Alrighty.